So that's an issue that we gotta figure out and uh, get out of here. Ethan's here to the filming. Grumpy's here to be grumpy and tell me I'm doing everything wrong and we're gonna see what we can do about this. So it looks like it came off the road and just veered off. There's tracks here. Went between there, the, the side of the cab there and all that just got mangled off of that tree. Bottomed out of there and just spun it up and around. Luckily there's a road down there. I think that's where we're going because this is like straight off. So to pull it back out of here without rolling it over into that tree is about not gonna happen. And straight behind it, it's not gonna fit between those trees and it's on that rock. And over here we got more trees and rocks. So I think down is our option. Hopefully it's not gonna go off sideways. I'm gonna try to pull the front end over, I think, to stop that. Start with? Yeah. You wanna try to tie the rear end off? So I thought if we do that, we might have to come back up here to pull it up to loosen that tie off to get it free. Gotcha. But that's an option. So as you can see, we brought the sneaker truck, even though obviously the Wrecker would be 100% the better truck to do this job with. But we're three hours from home. Yeah. And in the Wrecker, that would have been four hours from home. And now with the drive back, that would have added like two hours of driving to our day. So it's pouring down rain. We had to go up over the Cascades. We're over on the valley side of the mountains now. And this was definitely the way more comfortable way to go. So we'll make it work. It's got heated seats. In the back too. It does. Looking at it from down here, I'm kind of thinking if we grab the front wheel from over here and pull the front end to us to like make it straight up and down the bank instead of sideways to it. So when it comes off that rock, it comes off straight down and not at an angle that wants to tip it. Yeah, so I think we pull the front end over so we're lined up right with where you are. So pull the front end over, then snatch block over here and bring it straight down that. I think makes the most sense. You wanna chop down some of these? We will, yeah. Let's uh, let's pull it over first. That way, we, cause it might not, if we chop down a spot, there's it might not line up exactly with that spot. Well, uh, but you got trees and crap there. This is your best shot. Yeah, I wanna pull over and see where we line it up to first. Then we'll clear that spot. It's going to want to take off that way with steering anyway. With my luck, I'll clear out that spot perfectly and I pull out a little bit and it'll come all the way over here and I have to clear out this too. So we'll do that first. I wonder if it's got like a good parking brake. Good point. Parking brake is like decent or not. There's a rock under it. Yeah. Real shock. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get tree savers, the Yankum ring, and two soft shackles, which are in this bag right here. Why don't we build this truck into the recovery one instead of the gray one? Uh, so, you know, because it's got like the wheel lift on the back. Wouldn't that make more sense? Maybe. Now I'm kind of, from standing here, everything looks different no matter where you stand. You know, from down here, it looks different than up there. From here, it looks like what would actually make a lot of sense we're gonna do that is to park the truck up there, grab this front wheel and pull it this way and over since it's jammed in down here, but. Uh, could you set up a uh, winch ring on the, the tree behind, behind me and pull the, pull the truck up? That yeah, way? If I go from here to this to that tree? Yeah. That'd give it some more up. That would be super ideal, but I think the truck's in the way of that one. Yeah, let's try that. I'll get a something to go through the rim here. Cool. Oh god. We can both fall down. Yeah. The same time. <laughs> I found a hole. Little 
holes in the rims with big disc brakes. Yeah, the caliper is right there where I want to grab too. Uh, uh, can you go to the torsion bar or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I can go to control arm. I think that'll do it. Well, it's strong enough for the car to ride on it, so. I like where your head's at. This will get us farther out too. This one. XL uh, shackle. Yes. Very handy. Because like you can wrap around things super easy with it because it's so big. And then also you can double it to double the strength. So nice. we are going to go through the center of the ring. Not around the outside. So that it can't fall out of the ring. Like this tree. I think it'll stay. One way to find out. Do that or go back up to that one. I think this should be okay. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Well, we'll just try to make sure we don't pull it over. Yeah. If it starts to go, we'll stop and go See, up. It's, it's got the pretty big wound from on the backside anyways. This is the one that got hit. Oh, this hit. is the one that got hit? Yeah. Okay. So I don't have to feel super bad about <laughs> hurting this tree? Nah, not too bad. That must be the owners. Somebody. They were going to try to meet us up here. It's a, looks like a red Dodge Ram or something else. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Neutral. There you go. Alright, we're in gear. <laughs> and parking brake. Oh, it's got one. Nice. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Just sitting down on the job, Casey. <laughs> I want the front end to come over and the back not fall off of that rock. Yeah. Be ready to run if it starts to roll down. Yep. Once I straighten it up, yeah, it'll come down. You're, you're fully diffed out. Uh, I have a thought here, Casey. What's your thought? I'm, I'm open for suggestions. Uh, snatch block off of this one. Redirect to that. Pull the ass end down. Uh, as far as that rock is over that side, I'd be afraid of it coming off like that. Yeah. I'm almost thinking now if I can go to that tree behind Grumpy and straight up to the front of it and pull it straight down. Do we have access to the front now? That's what I'm hoping. I think that's good. I think that'll work. Can grab it under the front and go this way? Yeah, I think so. We need a chainsaw and cut that. Then we will. Cool. Okay, chainsaw man. Yeah? For those who don't know, Ethan oh. is a very experienced chainsaw operator. Where are your chaps, Casey? So, when I cut <laughs> this that's under all this tension, is it going to spring back and whack the hell out of me? Uh, it might. Sweet. I'm okay with being wrong, Casey. In this case, so am I. 
There you go. Oh. <laughs> I love this saw. This is the Harbor Freight Atlas saw. I've had it for over a year now. Oh. Don't fall. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid getting whacked in the head. Me too, but it's not going well. Nope. Okay. Okay, now I can get this out of here. Man, watching Grumpy do all that work made me hot. Get my sweater off. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, this shit run through that the line. I don't want to cut up any more than we have to. It's not like a, they're probably too Worried about saving every bush. I got it. Okay. We're totally side pulling the winch for no reason now. Well, I could easily just reposition the truck. Your chariot awaits, Casey. I just realized something about our steering. This one is turned that way like we wanted. That one's still turned that way. Wait a minute. Yeah. Did the Chevy do a Chevy? It did a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need tie rods where we're going. This is definitely the side that's not hooked up. Well, you're off the rock. Am I gonna go right into that rock that's right there? What's that? I think so. Can you move that? Uh, yeah. I can't move oh, we've got the power to pull it out of the way. Yeah, I don't want to kill an oil pan while we do. You got it? You're the man. See, Grumpy? That's why I bring the young guy. <laughs> yeah, because they know what they're doing. I gotta steal Casey's line. I never said I was good at this. Oh yeah. Down was definitely the right option. Yeah. What's that? It's the remote batteries. No, it's your charisma. <laughs> How'd our rope do? Our rope looks fine to me. It's almost like this was designed to do this and it doesn't damage the ropes. Gotta ask those important questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm wondering, does this have tow hooks on it? That I can just grab easy? Uh, it might. I think that's a stump. Oh, what do you know? And it's the right way. Look at that. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll pull that off. I'm going to straighten the truck out. Why do it the easy way? I don't know. That's the case you wait. I thought you said he had a plan. Why did I intervene? That doesn't work. It'll work for me. 
Yeah, but you were close. Maybe we should put batteries in the remote. Maybe. <laughs> it's almost like I've had this problem before. Back me up. Look at that, no hook needed, no shackles, no nothing. Just a winch line. Yeah, that's gonna be a mess. Get the wheel up under that? Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. Can we use that chain to yank all that stuff out of there? Well, I got J-hooks in the back, we'll use those. Try to hook that clump of stuff and pull it out of there. Let me turn this around. What if you put the wheel and stuff over the toe hook? That's a good idea. And then pull it out. Okay. I'll try that. I'm going to turn around. Here, give me that chain. You're not just walking around like Mr. T. <laughs> well, you don't want to lose another one? No. That one's bad enough. What's your plan to get all this stuff out of here, Grumpy? Well, I was thinking if you could put the wheel lift under the tow hooks, lift it up, and maybe even pull it over, I don't know. Maybe. I think that's a good idea. I don't know if you could pull it, but at least we could lift it up, clean some of it out. Let me put, uh... Let me put these wheel chocks behind it because I don't want to pick it by those that have it roll back off of them and then shred that front end. Yeah. So, let's play it safe. There we go. <laughs> What's that? It's a tie rod that's over here broken. Oh. Hold on. What if I set this down, pull those chocks out, I start it up, and I back up off of this, then hook it up over there? Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't even have to start it. in the truck so you can back up as I try to put this under and see if I can grab it. Yeah. Okay, turn driver. Back up. 
Pick it up and just straighten the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good kill. Okay, uh, passenger. Forward. Stop. Straight. Turn to the driver's side. Right there. Straight back. Okay, hold on. That one's not connected. I know, but the other one is. So why don't I just turn it to match? This is why you're the tow guy. Okay, little driver. And back up. that down. Okay, hold on for a sec. Alright, take me up to the landing. Which one of you is driving? That was me. <laughs> Care to explain yourself? <laughs> I don't know if I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up in the morning, I got a phone call from one of my friends saying, hey, your brother's got in a wreck. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I called him and be like, yo, uh, something happened. <laughs> well. A little buffer and pain, I think this will all be good. It'll be fine. Yeah. Luckily you made it out okay, so. Yeah. That's, that's the important, important part. Yeah, that's definitely important part. I'm gonna miss my truck though. It runs and drives, put a new tie rod on it, and you can drive it. <laughs> Convertible, anyone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we didn't show them on the camera the, uh, the one that's wrecked right down the road here. Oh, yeah, we'll have to get so, that. So, it must have been last night, because it's still so got battery on it. Catch. Uh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> to make a nice sledding trail once That's the, exactly what I thought. Once it snows. Oh yeah, that was a slick move. God damn it. Pro pro gamer move right there. Sideways, hit the tree, bounced off and down to the rock. Alright, let's head down the mountain. Alrighty. So this kid screwed up, yes. But he also has liability only insurance. So this whole cost is on him of losing his truck and the recovery and all that. And what he doesn't know yet is that this recovery is at no cost to him thanks to a sponsorship from Set Power Fridges. Set Power Fridges is sponsored this channel. 
quite a few times in the past. In the truck right here, buried under that mess that you can't see right now, but we'll show you in a bit, is their uh, FC 15 fridge, 15 quart. And it's been living in this truck, I think, for the last eight months and been awesome. My uh, Western Star has a set power fridge in it. My wife's Jeep has a set power fridge. Uh, they have been nothing but great. We've never had an issue with any of them. And a uh, huge thank you to Set Power Fridges for sponsoring this video so that uh, this poor kid's not uh, not out any more money than he has to be for this. He already lost his truck, which sucks, so we're gonna try to just minimize the damages for him. This is the one we saw on the way up. Uh, they took a little bit worse of a ride. That must have happened last night because it wasn't up here uh, yesterday afternoon when they came up. That one I would prefer to have the wrecker for. There's enough trees around here with the Yankum rings and compounding it. Uh, we could pull it, it's doable, but you know what would make it even better? Uh, since this is a paved logging road, I could just totally bring the Zach lift up here and just one line this thing <laughs> right up the hill, easy as could be. Yeah, that's a bad one. That's a bad day, Casey. You see the uh, the red security sensor light still flashing? Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Maybe. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's there. See the crazy thing? No airbags. Not one airbag's blown in that. <laughs> if we look over here, buried under all the stuff, uh, set power. FC15, plenty enough room for all your stuff for the day and overnight, stuff like that. Great fridge has been in here for quite a while. Very happy with it. So thank you again to set power for uh, making sure this kid doesn't have to spend any more money than he has to. He's gonna whip that thing right in here. I think your seat might have got wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this truck's still good, this little TLT will be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be hunting the junkyard for a cab and put this thing back together. Yeah? You think it'll be worth it? If uh, the engine and everything is all good, it's a five speed, there's not many of those out there. I know, that's why I love this truck. I'm gonna uh, suck. You can find a cab, flatbed probably for cheap, or even hold up for junk cars. The truck itself seems fine under a tie rod, that's what they do. I think the truck's worth doing. Fix it now. Okay. I love the truck. I feel like. Or, or look on Craigslist or Marketplace for one of these that blown motor and sitting, someone's never going to fix, but oh. the cab's good. It's swapped oh, yeah. all the parts. Swapped the parts. Okay, yeah. I see. Your front end, everything's fine. It's the cab and the bed. Yeah, find one that's got a blown motor or no good, because it doesn't matter if it's a two-wheel drive, full drive, whatever, you just keep the cab. Yeah, that'll work. This could be done pretty, pretty inexpensively. Oh yeah, I just need a job first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm jobless. <laughs> looking for one. What's that job you're looking for? A delivery. So, driving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't explain that to the employer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so if anyone in the Springfield area is looking for a delivery driver who's super good with the wheel, we'll just. I'm the best. The best out there. <laughs> Ain't no one better than me. <laughs> he knows exactly how fast he can go before it goes bad. Absolutely. That's it myself. It goes, so you can see right here. That's supposed to go right there. Oh, right. So this comes out, this unthreads out of here, a new one goes in and drops into that. Oh, that's not bad. Your tie rod's fixed. Okay, that's easy. Your CV joint is still there. And the, uh, the control arm is still fine. 
I think the tie rod snap and saved your control arm. Awesome. How's the frame? Frame's gonna be fine. If none of that bent, your frame's fine. Yeah, your control arm's good. It just looked like it because it hold there. So you need a new tie rod, and that's it. All right. Well, I'd like a new, like, the rest of it, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Perfect tie rod. All right, I know I gave you a price for this, yeah. but set power fridges, decided to sponsor this video, so no charge. Wait, really? Sweet, dude. So, <laughs> say thank you to Set Power Fridges. Thank you, Set Power Fridges. And uh, if you click the link in my description for Set Power Fridges, that's an affiliate link that helps me out a little bit. I think gets you a discount too. And uh, yeah, they help you out on this one. Yeah, awesome. All right. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, you guys have a good one. You, you too, too, man. Thank you.